It's not every day that you get the opportunity to play golf with one of your all-time favorite writers about the game. Recently, I had just that opportunity as I enjoyed nine holes with Tom Coyne while he was visiting my hometown for a literary festival. He had a way to do Scotland that really meant a lot to me um, and that would feel personal and interesting or unique enough. Um, I jumped in with both feet. And, and started planning an even more outrageous adventure. Now, I didn't walk around Scotland because by the time I'd done Scotland, I was married with children and uh, walking um, and bouncing or off cars and buses is prohibited once you've, once you've got little ones at home, and that was fine. Uh, Scotland was also different in that uh, I'm a professor at St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia, so I had a really tight window because I wanted to play every links in Scotland. I wanted to play every course to ever host the Rota. Because what I want, uh, or sorry, post the Open, which we call the Rota, uh, the British Open, um, and what I wanted to find, I had to, you know, you can't, a, a book can't just be, like a golf book can't just be, wow, I went out and played some cool golf courses and it was a lot of fun and they were really nice to me. Uh, nobody wants to read that. I don't want to read that. So it needs a quest. And the quest for me, a course called Scotland, um, was about finding a secret to golf. Finding... You know, if there is a secret to golf, which is the thing I've been chasing since I probably picked up a club, first time I picked up a club when I was eight years old, um, it's gotta be in Scotland, right? That's where they invented the game. So I said, I'll go over there. You know, enough of, in Paper Tiger, I had computers and coaches and everything the pros I said. I said, enough of that. I'm gonna go back to where it started. After Tom finished a fabulous reading at the Word of South Festival in Tallahassee, I brought him up to my old home course, Havana Golf and Country Club, Havana National as I like to call it. There I showed Tom the nine hole course in which I grew up on as he had wanted to see it as part of his ongoing tour for his new book, A Course Called America. In similar fashion to his adventures in books like A Course Called Ireland and A Course Called Scotland, Tom has set out in search of the meaning of golf in his native land. His new book, A Course Called America, is expected in the coming years and will likely be another New York Times bestseller. It was great to share a few holes with Tom at my old home course, and I can't wait to read about it in his new book.